Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Spooktober special for 2019. Uh, we were bandying about ideas for what to do since we were out of good Silent Hill games and actually more or less out of good Resident Evil games, too. And someone floated the rather brilliant idea to do a nightmare run of Alien Isolation. After all, if you go at the go to the existing playthrough on YouTube. It's on hard instead of nightmare, which is not usually my jam, yo. And it also has lots of quality issues, like there are places where the audio gets in and out, there's desyncs, there's gaps, because my video processing software went kaput in the middle of a couple of different recordings, and I kind of tried to recapture it and piece things back together as best I could, but it didn't work very well, so I think it's worth putting up another one where things go much more smoothly. And this game is scary as hell. It's always fun to stream, especially for spooky times. So, yeah, for the next few uh, streams, starting with this one, we'll be working on a nightmare difficulty run of Alien Isolation. I don't know how bad this is going to be. I have not played on Nightmare before. There's a lot of adjustments, I'm told. But I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be fun. And most importantly, I think it's going to be scary. Hi, Lone Wonder. I am doing pretty well. I'm still a touch jet-lagged, but mostly over it after 48 hours back in the States. Uh, 72 hours, actually. Just or close to it. Uh, yeah, a little bit tired. Work, being back at work is not the greatest, but it is what it is. And I did really, really enjoy the trip. Just, I don't know who all has been to the Scottish Highlands and to the Isle of Skye, but I have truly never seen anything like it. It's, it's magical. I absolutely loved it. Love the food, love the drinks. Although, I have to say, um, I mean, it's not like I was in Belgium or anything, but as long as you're not drinking Budweiser's, as long as you're drinking something good, like Arrogant Bastard, I I prefer prefer my American beers to what I was having in those English pubs. That's okay. All right. Um, we've got setup work to do, because it's the first run, so I'll go ahead and get started on that and move the usual weight. <laughs> I'm already excited again. I love this game. I say that now, watch how pissed off I get by the time I get to the medical or to the reactor level. <laughs> I didn't say it wasn't up to my standard. I just said, why is it so hard to find anything stronger than 5% in the pubs? Is there a reason for that? All right, let's check out our settings. I already t mostly tweaked them, but I just want to make sure everything's good. Input mapping, yeah, this is all fine. We can work with it. Okay, yep, we're good. I didn't make any changes. That's fine. Video, this is the important one. How's the gamma? Are we looking good? Um, Lone Wonder, looks like you're still the only one here. Is the gamma good? Can you see? Can you see pretty well? I guess it's hard to really know until we're actually playing, but... All looks right. Ultra everything. It is a five-year-old game. Perfect. Check audio, too. Mainly just want to make sure subtitles are on. All right. That's been five minutes, so I think we're ready to launch. 
Play game. Alien isolation. Start game. Alright. Novice. <clears throat> we'll read through the difficulties. We already know that this time around we're upgrading from hard to nightmare. Novice. A thrilling experience. The greatest chance of survival. Easy. For an increased chance of survival. Medium. Still a challenge, but one you may survive. Hard. The recommended way to experience the game. Challenging and terrifying. And Nightmare. The ultimate test of survival. New difficulty. Nightmare. Nightmare is the ultimate level of difficulty, the greatest test of survival skill. Warning for experienced survival experts only. Survivor Steam achievement can still be unlocked in Hard or Nightmare. So, to walk you through the features of Nightmare, I thought it was going to tell us in-game, but apparently not. Um, nightmare difficulty, there's no map system at all. So we'll just be flailing around blindly. We don't have downloadable maps. We don't have a map screen. We got nothing. Um, there's less game feedback. We aren't going to have a health bar. We aren't going to have an ammo counter. We aren't going to have a flashlight indicator. It's going to be, you know, as though we were actually just, like, wandering around. Like, because, you know, in real life, you don't have a little meter that tells you how much flashlight battery you have left. <laughs> and um, the motion tracker is broken and unreliable, and of course, uh, resources are more scarce, the enemies are faster, they hit harder, the alien is smarter and more aggressive, like, it's going to be ridiculously challenging, but I'm kind of looking forward to it, to be honest. Let's go. Do you really want to start a new game? All the save data of your current campaign will be overwritten. Yes. Ah, here we go. Adjust the slider until the Seeks and logo is very, barely visible against the black background. All right, this is where I need you, Lone Wonder. Um, the Seeks and logo is barely visible for me right now, but how does it look for you all on the other side? Do I need to go brighter? Darker? <laughs> Needs to be brighter? How's that? I'm going to go one notch at a time, because... I want the vibe to be perfect. Uh, no. You can still save in Alien Nightmare. Also, hi, Krathir. Can you see it, Lone Wonder, or do I need to go another notch? How about that? Just keep, keep coming at me. I'm going to go one notch at a time, because I want it... I want it as dark as we can have it for the vibe. Well, everybody can still see what's going on. All right. I have three people. Um, can everybody barely see the Seekson logo now? Because that's, that's where we want it. I want you to barely be able to see it. Hey, Steven. How are you, friend? Welcome. It is good to be back. Yeah, that's true. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to leave it here because it actually, it, it looks pretty bright for me, but that's okay. Sprinting is a last resort. It is loud and alerts anything nearby that could hear you. Here we go. We ain't skipping shit. Come on now. What do you take me for? Get high! Sega Presents. Oh, I love this game so much. It's all coming back to me so fast. Association with 20th Final Century Fox. Final report of the commercial starship Nostromo. Third officer reporting. The other members of the crew. Kane. Lambert. 
Parker, Brett, Ash, and Captain Dallas are dead. Cargo and ship destroyed. I should reach the frontier in about six weeks. With a little luck, the network will pick me up. This is Ripley. Last survivor of an Nostromo. Signing off. Ripley? I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. We think we may have found her, Amanda. A commercial vessel, the Anisadora, has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? Zeta Reticula. What did it tell you? We don't know. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. It's proprietorial material, so the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot in the region. It's a, a permanent freeport. I know facility. what it is. Transit's arranged. There's a courier ship called the Torrens heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. We? Oui. Me and another exec. And you, if you're willing. Look, Ripley, when this job came across my desk, I read the case history. I know why you're working in the region where she went missing. You're still looking, aren't you? I've been cleared to offer you a place on the Torrance if you want to come along. Maybe there'll be some closure for you. No bueno. Bad idea, Amanda. Although I guess she does find out what happened to her mom, so... In that sense, she... gets what she set out for. Please sign in. Ah, oh, yes, this is how we save. Use move keys to walk. Oh, wait, what? There we go. E, sign in. Why don't you put on the shoes? Instead of just kicking them, you weirdo. Objective updated. Explore the Torrens. Scrap, a sensor, and scrap. Get dressed. Ah, it just comes back to you instantly. Green lights mean searchable. Yeah, map data unavailable. At least it still works as a pause menu. <laughs> oh lord. Oh, that's... <laughs> I'm already really fucking unnerved. Just by, like, facing up to the actual absence of the map. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's head for the bunk room. I think it's over here, if I remember right. Yeah, this looks right. Alright. Empty. Oh, lame. 
Shower. It's important. Who knows how fucking long we've been asleep, right? Rinse off. There we go. Get dressed. Oh. Let me search. Use registration points to manually save your progress. They will warn you if enemies are nearby. Empty. Kick some more shoes. Why not? Empty. Empty. Yeah, everything's empty. Of course it is. No supplies for you. You idiot who picked Nightmare. <laughs> Alright, let's get dressed. Well, actually, before we do that, let's check out the computer. We're still going for collectibles. That's what we do. LM Link. Just missed you. Relaying you on the lookout for a navigational officer? I have a friend that's just lost his ship and he's looking for work. I can vouch for him. He's got good papers. Same old story. The megacorps undercut him, picked up all his clients. Contracts are getting harder to come by for the smaller companies, and I'm thinking of getting out myself while I still have something to sell. Sounds like you're doing okay, though. Dropped by the docks and heard you just shipped out. Sevastopol Station. What a shithole. Still, I hear Wayland yutani pay well. Good luck to you if you can't beat them, right? Let's catch up when you get back. Blaine. Okay. Neat. Q is back. There we go. Right, now let's get dressed. Put on some clothes, Amanda. It's unseemly. There we go. Objective complete. Get dressed. Oh shit, I almost missed a water. Well, it's empty. <laughs> Wouldn't have been a big deal, but... Oh, the music! So good. Alright, let's save. Skadoosh! It's not even spooky yet, but the music and the lack of map are unnerving <laughs> already. Alright. The airlock. I want to go to medical and speak to Samuels. Ah, uh, here he is. Ah, Ripley. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrens facilities, a well-maintained ship. I realize it's a very similar model to... The Nostromo. Yes, M-Class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. Haven't seen her. I'll go check on her. Objective complete. Speak to Samuels. Okay. So control is free look. C is crouch. Reacquainting myself. It's not taking long. I played a lot of this game. Controls are pretty familiar. But... Taylor should be over here in the galley. Yes, there she is. Oh, darling. Taylor, you don't look well. Good morning. Ripley, it's certainly not good. And I very much doubt it's morning either. Oh, sorry. I feel like death. I don't know how you people put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long haul very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Wayland Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find out what happened. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, it'll look great with my superiors. I'm sorry. That was insensitive. I realize your mother has been missing for 15 years and, and you... It's okay. We'll both get what we want, right? Uh, have you seen Samuels? He's probably been up for hours. Hi, here and there. Uh, good to see you. Welcome, welcome. All right. <clears throat> All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sevastopol Station. Looks like we're up. Go to the bridge for briefing. Search the cupboard. It's empty. Oh my gosh. Like, even compared to hard, I'm already noticing there's so few components. 
in the lockers. Let's hit this terminal. Should be a couple more logs here. Regarding the Stromo incident, to N. Taylor. Hey Taylor, I got your case request. It may take me a while to dig out the files and the incident happened before my time at the company, so I'm a bit fuzzy on the details. In 2122, the Wayland yutani cargo vessel, the USCSS Nostromo, went missing. No trace was found of its cargo or crew. Apart from a new science officer, the rest of the crew had worked together before, seven in all. Dallas Captain Ash Science Officer, Kane Executive Officer, Ripley Warrant Officer, Lambert Navigation Officer, Parker Chief Engineer, Brett Engineer Technician, Wayland yutani lost a lot of money from it. It's a bit of a black mark in the history. Get the impression they don't like to mention it. Anyway, I'll try and find the files later, clarify some of the points. If you want, I can help you go through them. Maybe some of your luck will rub off on me. I hear upstairs have an eye on you for something big. Saul. Hey, Karis. I'm doing really well. How about yourself? It's good to see you. It's good to be back streaming. All right. Torrens Manifest. Name, MSV-7760, Torrens, M-Class Starship, Captain, Diane Verlaine, Navigator, Comm Officer, William Connor, Owner, Diane Verlaine, Contractor, Wayland yutani Outbound and return transportation for Wayland yutani Retrieval Team to Sevastopol Station. Team consists of three WY employees, C. Samuels, A. Ripley, N. Taylor. Passengers, Christopher Samuels, Amanda Ripley, Nina Taylor. Number of decks, two. Number of crew, two. Interstellar communications antenna, long-haul hypersleep, hypersleep chamber. Commercial passenger and cargo ship retrofitted from a tow rig. Retains operational heavy-duty tow umbilical. All right. These peaceful times don't last long, of course. Oh, wow. I don't know if I could... I don't know if I ever... Could, Noticed I could see this well. Tea, bran flakes, porridge oats, corn flakes, coffee, sugar, cookies, biscuits, crackers. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's just, you know, it, it's always fascinating to me when I play a game this detailed. Like, it was somebody's job to render all this. How many people do you think actually noticed? Milk, butter, cream, sugar. I noticed. Whoever you, whoever you are in the credits. Hope you all had a restful journey. The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Mm -hmm. Connor, how we doing? Awesome. G loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comms so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Collect your briefing document. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel, Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV-7760, calling Sevastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whale in Yutani Bond. You're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> Marshal, this is the Torrent. Say again. The station's comm seemed pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. Hey, Morella. I can Good only to see keep you. the Torrents in transit for 24 hours. You look hot from us by then. Safe trip. Mm. 
Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Depressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shadow me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. I've been out of the country. What happened here? This is my first day back. My God, Ripley. You're doing good, Tim. Go down. Just keep moving. Taylor Ripley, hold on. Floor vents can be used as alternative routes through the station. Committing a component to an IED removes it from your inventory. <clears throat> Use this to clear space for more items. All right, here we go. Objective updated. Find help. Change. Now let's get out of the EDA suit. All right. God, I hate this. I keep trying to check the map. Just, like, reflexively. I don't have a fucking map. <laughs> oh, lord, it's so terrible. <laughs> Use registration points to manually save your progress. They will warn you if enemies are nearby. Alright, here we go. At least there are no nearby enemies. Oh, god, I forgot how fucking tense the save point countdown is, too. It's not like you can just rush to it. No, you gotta get there with time to spare. <laughs> Okay. Yay. Hey, a sensor. I actually got something. Dilly dilly. Let's look around. Well, isn't that wonderful? Yeah, no kidding. Shit. Hooray! Nothing over here. Oh yeah, time to hit the creepiest fuck alien vents. Here we go. I'm talking a lot because this game is fucking unnerving. Even if you've played it a bunch of times like I have. It's just, it's just expertly crafted horror game by any metric and the fact 
that it's a good alien game, which is one of my favorite film series. It's just, oh, God. All righty. Alien series invented vents. Oh. oh yeah, no, Morellis, I agree with you. The I am. I I think we've gained some ground in recent years, but um, you know, there's always the debate over which movie is better, Alien or Aliens, and. I don't even think either is better. They're just completely different. Alien is a horror movie. Aliens is an action movie. And it just so happens that Alien is a very, very, very good horror movie. And so, yes, the Xenomorph is a perfect survival horror enemy. This game is so fucking good. I, 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 I can't get over how good it is. I freaking love it. All right, let's check this computer here. Sevasta Link. Decommissioning. To engineering team regarding decommission. So boys and girls, you've probably heard the whispers about Sevastopol by now, and I can confirm it's official. Sevastopol is being decommissioned. I will go over with each of you what this means in regards to your contracts and next placement, but for now we still have a job to do. The suits want this done with a skeleton crew, which means we'll only be getting a few outside contractors to help, but it does mean overtime. I recommend taking what you can while it's available. I should point out that the decommission does not mean lucky dip. Everything here has to be accounted for, and I will personally escort anyone found helping themselves to equipment to marshal weights. Chief. All right. Hi, Strange. I love the aesthetic. I love the aesthetic, too. Well, and, I mean, it's not just, uh, like, Ridley Scott's Alien, I guess, when it came out in, what was it, 79, 78? I mean, it really was retro-futuristic in its own right, but yeah, they captured the vibe perfectly. And I am obsessed with the film franchise, too, and I was before this game came out. So I bought the, um, um, gosh, it was, I was an undergrad. It was my freshman year, which says a lot. But um, back in 2000, late 2003, they released like the Alien Quadrilogy as a box set and I bought it and it had like all of the behind the scenes director's commentary kind of stuff with uh, Dan O'Bannon and Ron Shusett who wrote the original screenplay so yeah I actually know what you're talking about and it is interesting and it is really good AVP2 the marine campaign I have actually played that Karis it uh it is spooky it is spooky I will give you that what's <clears throat> They should have allowed the revolver to hurt the xenomorph. I mean, it's a bit of an immersion break because a revolver would hurt the xenomorph. But I think that in terms of game design, it really would have hurt the survival horror aspect. I guess it wouldn't bother me so much if you could like run it off with a couple of bullets as long as it didn't kill it. It seems weird that it just shrugs them off. But <laughs> you're wearing a Wayland Utati shirt? That is amazing. Um Alien Three I don't know, it's weird. <laughs> we I mean weird is the best word for it, right? Like I like watching it. I enjoy it. I do think it's a significant step down from the first two in terms of quality. Like it doesn't really scare me. It's not really fun, but I guess I'd say it's an interesting movie, and it's worth watching. All right, here we go. Oh, don't apologize. I like it. I like talk. 
The interactivity is half the point of streaming. God damn. Yeah, that was kind of rough. Can't even see where we fell for it, fell through, but it's all right. We've got a flare. Dilly dilly. This will help. Hold on, I'm gonna see if my wife is kind enough to bring me another beer. Mm. How far he fell? I I don't know about fell. I mean, he uh. It, 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 I'll put it this way, it wasn't Ridley Scott that fucked up Prometheus, um, it was Damon, it was Damon Lindelof. If you know who that is. Oh yes, someone new, you always know working Joe. Gotten. Let's keep on going. Hey, there's actually stuff in that one. Got some crafting components. Awesome. Yeah, I think I think at this point in the franchise, none of the AVP movies are canon, but Prometheus and Covenant are. Which um, Pr Prometheus was fucked, but the one good thing about Prometheus was David, and they really like upped the ante on that for Covenant. And I I enjoyed Covenant. Like it still wasn't as good as the original two, but I thought Covenant was good. No, let's not. There's something I can press to put away, but to just put things away. Oh lord. No, input mapping. There we go. It doesn't look like there is. Nope, nope, just have to have to be careful not to accidentally press R or else I'll waste my flare. Oh, I was still crouched. No wonder I was moving so ridiculously slow. <laughs> oh goodness. Alright, here we go. Strangers will be shot. No. Keep moving. Creepy stuff. Alright, let's go. Up the ladder. Yeah. Exactly, Strange Drink. They... Like, there was a... A banality. I would even call it a believability in the original Alien. Like... And when it came out in the late 70s, it's like, yeah, these are just totally ordinary people. It just so happens their truck is a freaking spaceship. Turn the radio off. There we go. And onward. Ugh! Boy, I remember there being more than just one bonding agent up here, but it's alright. Ooh, look, Hello? it's a model of Sevastopol. Anyone here? Of course not. Gate B is locked. Oh, yes, passcode required. Gate A is locked. Oh, we need to get the power on. That's right. Freaking. 
forgotten. So forgotten, F you. Trust no one. Looters keep out. Pay. Sights of Sevastopol. Kirchner Buck. Smile with confidence. Regular dental checkups are vital to the health of your teeth. Don't put them off. Corlander. Lovingly machine rolled for your pleasure. <laughs> Oh, I love all these flavor posters. This shit remi kind of reminds me of Bioshock, actually. Except maybe a little newer. Apollo. Oh, I can actually read this. The Apollo Core is a mainframe that monitors and provides guidance for all Sikhs and working Joe androids on Sevastopol, a unified information hub that makes sure artificial humans work to maximum efficiency. A direct interface with the station's security system quickly spots anything on Sevastopol that needs repair or attention, and notifies the working Joes about the required work within seconds, so you can rest assured that during your stay on Sevastopol, you're in safe hands. Cup of Joes. Have you got the Cup of Joes smile? Remember your stay with a limited edition print of KG-348. Well, that one is a little blurred out. I feel like it's still actual words, but it's a little too blurry to read. <clears throat> Use these terminals to update your map with unexplored areas. Oh yeah, that did us a lot of good. <laughs> Tomorrow together, no future. Welcome to the end of the line. This life for rent. I don't remember all this graffiti. I think they've added stuff, like in patches. I mean, I could be crazy, but I think so. All right, in we go. There's a registration point. Let's hit the generator first. Crank it, Amanda. Power's on. Utility moved our stash. Langley, if you're looking for our stash, I've moved it. You left it right out in the open where anyone could have taken it. Jesus, do you know what I had to do to get it? I've hidden it in one of the storerooms. You should be able to find it. The code is 0340. Don't worry, no one goes down to the terminal anymore. Not after what happened. Also, we're out of meds and low on water, so you're going to need to get some. It's your turn. Maybe it'll teach you to take care of our stuff in future, Anna. Goodbye from Seekson. Public notice the decommissioning of Sevastopol Station. We've had a long journey together, but sadly it's coming to an end. Seekson Corp would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who worked and lived at Sevastopol over the years, and hopes that Seekson has helped to make it a productive and rewarding environment. Our investment and belief in the station has never wavered. Be assured that Seeks and Apollo Central AI and Working Joe Androids will be there to serve Sevastopol until the last rivet is removed. We wish you all the very best for the future. After all, Sevastopol isn't just a station. It's people. Seeks and Corp. Audio. Kill the power. Harris, Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait's up. And... Utility. Power Junction D13. Departures. Restore power to departures. Do it. Oh. I'm going, I'm going. Runners! All right, let's hit the registration point. Yes, I'm sure. Overwrite it. On your way back to Thetis, Toast your return with Davenport Rye. You've traveled far, worked hard, and now you're returning home. You're looking forward to seeing your family and sleeping in your own bed. But there's one pleasure you never have to wait for. It's time to reward yourself with the crisp, distinctive taste of Davenport Rye. Hey, 
Siegson. Here at Siegson, we understand that science and technology need to work in harmony with society. There are many exciting discoveries and opportunities out on the horizon, but we believe that before we set off into the wild blue yonder, we should concentrate on solving those problems closer to home. That's why it seeks in every new technology, research project, and discovery is concerned with finding real-world applications to help families, small businesses, and local communities. We don't forget the little details when seeing the big picture. We don't want to show you a new world. We want to discover it with you. We hope you'll join us for the journey. Seeks in tomorrow together. Let me see if I can read this now the lights are on. KG-348 is a Jovian gas giant, its outer layers largely comprising of molecular hydrogen. After initial scientific surveys of its cloud layers, a rare form of metallic glass were discovered amid the expected helium-3, leading to further investigation in the heightened possibility of expanding Sevastopol into a fully-fledged atmospheric mining facility. There we go. I could read almost all of it. In the future, you can still enjoy alcohol and drugs. Thank God. <laughs> Sensor and scrap. Go have all this other one. Bonding agent. Alright, now we know this passcode. It's 0340. And what do we have? We got scrap. And we have the plans for Medikit V1. Field Medikit. Blueprint collected. View in the radial menu. You have found a view blueprint. Use Q to access the crafting menu. <clears throat> Medikit. Here we go. Press LMB to build. Alright, so. Looks like I need an SCJ injector. I need compound B. I need bonding agent. I need 10 scrap. So... When you commit a component, it removes it from your inventory, which allows you to carry other things. So, it's a worthwhile thing to do. But anyway, that's it for that. I'll be right back. I want one more drink. All right, apologies. 
for that teensy little delay. Let's get back to work. Well, I use the term work very loosely indeed, but let's hit the save point before we leave. Security checkpoint is open. It's nice, but let's save. Good to run into the electrified wire. Let's crouch under it. Hey, 15 scrap. Onward. Oh, yes. What the hell happened here? Sevastopol, space flight terminal. All departures are that way. RIP Sevastopol. No hospital, no authority, no hope. See the gas giant over there? I think it's pretty cool looking. We'll circle back here. You know, I like to explore everything, especially when I happen to know it's still safe, because that shit does not last. Space flight terminal, station maintenance, elevators, gift shop, and cocktail bar. This life for rent? Okay. We're starting to encounter repeat graffiti. It doesn't take long. Station maintenance is locked. Ion torch required. Alright. Circle back to the staircase we saw we could use. Zing Zang! Space flight terminal. Destinations Bernard Star, Ross 154, Procyon, Groombridge 34, Alpha SETI, Capella. Best on the station! Yes, we deliver! <laughs> All flights canceled. Baggage claim. Nothing. Fast cash, open 24 7. Call now. Soon day service checks, cashed, seeks, and guaranteed. Ion torch required to get in here, too. You can see a Nostromo log there. I did think it was ridiculously cool that they brought back the cast of the original alien to record those Nostromo logs. And they were all still alive. I think uh, John Hurt, who played Kane, has since died. I think all of the other six are still alive even now. Wait fly dust, but they had all seven of the original cast members do logs for this, which was amazing. Help, Apollo. Strangers will be shot. Alright, up we go. Watch over here. C24, high fidelity. 24 minutes, low noise. The Torrin!
There's no working gel. I, I kind of love all the areas of the station, to be honest. There's sequences with the alien that I think are a little more stressful than they need to be, but that's actually a compliment. We need help. Clink, glug, ah. Some things are too good to be savored. Buy two bottles, soda lager. Thank you, Tiff. I have a soda now, too. We're set until the end. Seeks and communications, reaching out together. Cred op amusements. Got more zing zang and more baggage claim. We can actually get into cred op amusements. Let's do that. Looks like an arcade. We got a flare. Yes, indeed. There's a generator in here. Doesn't seem to be much else. Let's activate the generator. Alright, Amanda, get her done. Shaboomy! Run around, Rex. Oh, we can't play the game. Back, forward, jump. Player one, player two. Mm. All right. Oh, look, we can get into Zing Zang. That's not unnerving or anything. Bouncy ass light. All right, audio recorder. Julia Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marshall Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. Vasto Link. Pulling the plug. Zoe, I'm sorry, but I won't need you to come in next week. As you know, the store's been in trouble for some time now, and I couldn't hold off the creditors any longer. There's just no one coming to Sevastopol anymore. It's not just us, either. It sounds like the whole station is in the red, and they're pulling the plug. I'm going to sell it off for scrap, I guess. I'm speaking to one of the engineers, and he reckons they'll announce it soon. I'm telling you this so you don't stick around looking for another job. Sevastopol's finished. Time to move on. Harper. All right, and to all spaceflight employees, to all spaceflight terminal employees, in the interest of public safety and the prevention of panic, it must be made clear to all potential passengers that there are currently no scheduled flights leaving Sevastopol, nor ships available. The Colonial Marshals are investigating problems on station and will update accordingly from the Office of Marshal Waits. What is Apollo? What is Apollo? Apollo is the central AI that monitors and provides guidance for all the Sikhs and working Joes on Sevastopol. Apollo also oversees all communications on the station, so wherever you are, you know you're in safe hands. Sikhs and tomorrow together. Alright. Look around the Zing Zang. I don't think there are goodies to find, but... It really pays to be thorough. Yeah, looks good. Let's save. And let's head through the floor vent. The only way forward. Yep, 
that new good. All right, out we go. Looks like we found our way into baggage claim, even though the doors are closed. This whole damn place is falling apart. Stay perky, freeze dried cup of Joe's coffee. <laughs> Niblet guaranteed to last the whole journey home. There we go. Get the cleaning bot out of the way. Capella, Delta Pavonis, Canopus Arcturus. A lot of destinations. Someone new. Oh, what's this one? Arius Computers, take the office home with you. There's even smaller text I can't quite read from here. The Vista, reserved locales and sites. A new dawn of precision digital watches. Samani. Okay, here's baggage claim. Kirchner Hornet shotgun shells. Noise. Kirchner Hornet. That's revolver ammo. Here we go. Hundreds of beautiful vistas captured and perfectly preserved on film for your pleasure. Prepare for tomorrow's 5 o'clock meeting with the new client. Write up the monthly budget reports. Read the kids a bedtime story. Arius personal computers can do everything a modern office computer can. Send and receive messages from other Arius users. Write and view documents. Even create graphs and bar charts to impress the boss. Or just help organize the household bills. Easy to use, affordable, and compact. The Arius allows you to work hard and play hard. Here, Sevastopol. All right. Fuck season. Blunt, but gets the point across. Unclaimed baggage. Plasma torch required. Solomon's slum. October 8, 23, October 21st, 2037, next, blah, 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 blah. The Planet Hopper, Adventures in Planetary Travel. Pick up your free brochure from the travel desk. It's got to be the exit up ahead. Get through the main door. Vista, preserved locales and sites. All scenes shown as part of the year experience of the property of Seeks and Corp. No unauthorized reproduction. Call Bla to talk to one of our representatives. Maintenance jack required. All right. Apollo. Guiding our synthetics, ensuring your safety. Okay. The text is the same, even though the picture is different. That's good. <laughs> Buy two pints, so you don't have to savor. Join the journey, Seeks, and tomorrow together. We're looking to expand our family. Ask us about our new career opportunities. 
losers will pay. All right, so we got a cargo or a baggage claim full of body bags, which is just ever so pleasant and charming. Primary airlock. Well, this is the one door that's unlocked, so I guess we're going this way. Here we've got another generator. Geo. Geofund Investor, the smart decision. Required. Plasma torch required. All right. We aren't really getting anywhere over here, so I guess we'll go back to baggage claim and see what turning on the power did for us. No, strange drink. Um, the two new Resident Evils use, surprise, the Resident Evil engine, which is proprietary to Capcom and Resident Evil 7. Freight handling is ahead, but immigration office is to the left. Fuck the marshals. Hmm, I guess we're heading there. I almost missed something over here. Yeah, there's an audio recorder here. Reverse, this is Turner. I found the last power coupling. Took me a while, but it's off now. Just fitting the last security brace. Come find me when you've shut yours down, then we can get the hell out of here. Jesus, man, I'm hearing noises everywhere. Every creak and... Just hurry the fuck up, will you? Hmm. Well, that's encouraging. Up we go. Fuck the marshals. Losers will pay. Dig it, dish it, dirt it. Did he? Where are they now? The vehicles of yesteryear. <laughs> oh, how funny. Kirchner Buck. What's this one? Please have your crew number, docking registration, and corporate passport ready for inspection. Seek so. Alright. I guess this is the immigration office. Ah, uh, it's a hiding locker. Pay attention to those, we'll need them. Sad but true. So, November 2137. Huh. In this little control room to the north, there's another audio recorder in here. Reverse, it's Turner. Gotta deal with that wasted asshole again. This time, he nearly wrecked the door with a maintenance jack. Guess he figures it's safe here. Wants to lock himself in. Screw him. We got too much to worry about without babysitting drunks. Anyway, I threw him in the evidence lockup. Let the son of a bitch sleep it off. All right. Let's hit the registration point. And then, unfortunately, it's going to be time to end the stream. 
uh, Tiffany and I were talking earlier, and we said we were going to be in bed by 9.30, because we are still a little jet-lagged, and we're trying to recover, and it's now 9.15, and I have been streaming for over an hour, so I don't feel too bad about it, just nothing's really happened yet, but, oh lord, we've got atmosphere, we've got atmosphere to the gills. Anyway, this has been the first episode of our Spooktober special, Alien Isolation on Nightmare. I'm thoroughly unnerved simply by the absence of the map. I can't imagine how bad it's going to get when the alien is actually chasing after me and all that horrible nonsense. Anyway, to those of you who joined me live on Twitch, thank you so much for being here. It's good to be back. I hope you enjoyed yourselves. If you're new and you enjoy what you saw, I hope you'll hit the follow button so you can see every time we go live in the future. If you're watching later on on YouTube, I realize it can be difficult for schedules to match and to catch live streams. First of all, if you enjoyed the video, please like it. If you did not enjoy the video, feel free to dislike, but I hope you'll leave a comment telling me why so I can fix the problems and be better for you in the future. But if... You're one of those people who has trouble catching streams whose schedule doesn't mesh so nicely with mine. Just hit subscribe. All of my content eventually makes its way to the YouTube channel, and so if you subscribe, you won't miss a thing. Finally, regardless of the platform you're on, I hope you'll consider joining the Discord. The link to do so is in the Twitch channel description. It's also in the YouTube video description. The Discord is where I make official channel announcements. It's where we discuss what you'd like to see me play. And most importantly, it's simply where there's a fun, growing community of people who love video games just as much as you and I do. Next stream is going to be tomorrow night. We're going to pick right up with more Alien Isolation on Nightmare for Spooktober. I hope to see all of you there. Take care. Sleep well. And see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.